Hello everyone. Uh, whether you are a student, teacher, businessman, homemaker, employee or whatever you may be, memory plays a vital role in your life. To get a success or not, memory is the main key role which is going to turn your life. So that's the reason uh, most of the scientists were doing are doing many experiments related to the memory and how to memorize, how to change and how to enhance the memory power. This evergreen topic. So today I'm going to share with you five important principles of memorizing the things or five scientific reasons for memorizing any kind of thing. So before going to that, let me tell you. So we want to memorize a lot. But in the scientific or in the rocket world, in the present scenario, memory is becoming much weak. Why? What is the reason? Can you guess? It may be due to the mob mobile addiction, internet usage, social media, movies, deviations, other deviations and stress. It could be anything, any reason. Sometimes we want to speak a lot in front of public. We go and we stand on a dais, but we feel we feel stress and we forget everything. So mainly the reason is that fear of failure, fear of failure, lack of confidence, and we don't trust on ourselves. And stress mainly the stress. Whenever you will be in stress, a cortisol hormone will be releasing in much quantity, so which will be a cause, which will be a danger. Uh, to memorize anything, to recollect anything. So that's the reason always memory is related with any kind of transactions of what we do. So either stress or anything. So how we can memorize the things? So for this five tips I am going to share with you. First one is that break technique. It's much useful for the students. A break technique. Whenever you are sitting for studies, please give some breaks much frequently uh, breaks will memorize will give you a lot of rest so that you can study you can remember the subject you can recollect the subject you can memorize the subject for long period so that's the reason always give small breaks while you are studying so when you when when should i give the break you may have a doubt so if you have a capacity to study uh, continuously for one hour give a gap of five to ten minutes or one and a half hour, give a gap of 5 to 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Like you decide how much time you can study at a time and what is the gap you wanted to give. Now during that break, during that gap, what to do? So don't be addicted to the cell phone or TV or something else. Just relax your mind. You can listen to any instrumental or any good soothing music or you can have a walk in your terrace or garden or you can get in, inside of the kitchen, have plenty of water, fruits, juices or something else or have a chit chat with your family members. This you can do, do, uh, do during the gap whenever you give during the studies. So this is break technique. Break technique is very much useful. And uh, after, uh, whenever you take this break uh, technique, please remember, so I have studied one hour, given a gap of 5 to 10 minutes, then change the subject. Continuously uh, focusing on one subject may not be giving you good result. So that is why always change the subjects. So when you change the subjects, mind also will become very active, energetic. Yes, that's so but our next subject is this. So like give the break and also change the subjects. This is the first technique. Second one is that revision technique. The more you revise the subject, your memory will be able to remember it for a long period. Uh, how much, how many times I have to revise? You may have a question. Uh, like Whenever you study the subject, within 24 hours you have to study, you have to revise it. Otherwise, 90% of the subject, 90% of the topic you will forget. This is scientifically proven. So that is the first time within 24 hours. Next, within one week, second time. Within one month, third time. And before exams, fifth time. Just one day before exam, fifth, fifth time. Five times you are revising the subject. The more you revise, you will be able to remember. So this is the secret behind my success. When I started my studies in intermediate, intermediate was the turning point. When I started memorizing, when I want to get the top rank in the college, I used to revise it many times. In my college, they used to conduct tests, like slip tests, 
uh, assignment test, unit test, quarterly, half yearly, pre-final, then final. How many tests we are writing? Topics are same, revising more times. The more you revise it, automatically you will be able to remember your hand goes without any disturbance. It goes very flawless. So that is why uh, that uh, revision, revision more times is definitely it will be helpful for you to memorize. Your mind will become sharp. And the third one is that uh, right time for the studies. What is the right time for studies? It depends on the person to person. Some students uh, will focus mostly on the early morning hours. Early morning hours are the best hours. Our elders also says this. Why? I'll tell you the reason behind this. Morning when you wake up, if you hear any song or something is lingering in your mind, it goes continuously, continuously throughout the day. So that's the power of concentration in the early morning. So to erase, erase that sentence, to erase that song, what you caught it in the morning, it's very difficult. So that difficult day to avoid and to utilize it, morning hours are the best hours. 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, you wake up and 2 hours you read it. Then you'll find miraculous results. A very good uh, memory you will have. And there are some students who always argue that uh, modern, madam, afternoon is good, evening is good, night is good. Okay, yes. But see that what are the powerful hours according to your memory. So your memory is saying that evening is good, night is good, then go ahead. So decide at what time your memory, your mind will work actively, energetically without sleepy. So those hours you decide and study. So selecting the powerful or effective hours very important. You select it and according to that just go ahead. So third point is that. Next fourth one is that rest your body. If you give plenty rest, enough rest to your body, automatically your mind will be very powerful. Many students will be giving a complaint in the comment box of my videos. Madam, I feel sleepy whenever I touch the book. During studies, I feel sleepy. During class hours in college, school, I feel sleepy. What to do? I'll tell you one thing. Whenever you are feeling sleepy, please sleep. Not in classroom, if you are at home. It means uh, you are giving le less rest to your body and mind. So that's the reason you are feeling sleepy. So always give enough sleep to your body and mind. Then next moment when you wake up, when you study, when you want to work anything, when you want to memorize anything, the rested body and mind will work out like a catalyst. You will be very energetic. So that is why rest hours are very important. How many hours to sleep? 6 to 7 hours. A 7 to 8 hours. It depends on the person to person. Normally, uh, as per the survey, it has, said prove, it has proved that uh, 7 to 8 hours night time sleep is required for everyone, every student. So, you can give much plenty rest to your body, then you can memorize the things very well. And once if you study, if you sleep, then after that when you wake up, you have a glance of what you have studied. So this will also help you to revise and to remember the subject for a long period. And fifth point, last point is that always go for physical and mind exercises. Physical exercises, why? If you are physically full fit, when you give exercise to your body, you get sweats and the more oxygen it goes inside of your mind. So always physical fitness is important. For mental fit fitness, you can go for uh, any uh, breathing exercises, breathing exercises you can do and some uh, um, some kind of exercises like uh, sudoku puzzles you are solving it and riddles you are solving this also, mental fitness. And one of my talk I have discussed about brain exercises, for brain different kinds, so only with hands and fingers you can do some exercises. That will be, be definitely helpful for your memory. So like mental and physical exercises. This will be helpful for your mind and uh, body and you can memorize the things very well. So total five things we have discussed, five techniques. One is break technique, then second one is revision technique, selecting the right time to study and resting your body and physical and uh, mental fitness. Five things we have discussed. Please remember, uh, this is the time to study, this is the time to study, this is the time to develop our career. And whenever you feel pressure, remember simple uh, quote, there is no wine if grapes are not pressed. There is no perfume if flowers are not crushed. 
whenever you feel pressure and feel that god is taking out the best from inside of you whenever you have you are in pressure god is trying to take the best inside of you so that is why you have the pressure bear the pressure then you'll have a bright future and never have a comparison jealous tension stress it will all decrease your memory don't compare anyone keep yourself cool and calm trust yourself you can do what is distracting you just imagine write down avoid those distractions focus on your studies definitely you'll have a good success your memory will improve a lot so trust me and the best example for this so please do take care of your career do take care of your studies any kind of doubts you can mention in the down side of the box thank you very much for all your affection you are taking care a lot of my channel and thank you for your sharings blessings and good wishes towards my channel so keep showering your good wishes and blessings so thank you all do subscribe and share all these videos with everyone so let us be helpful for all the students so thank you all keep smiling keep shining good luck